We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the New York Yankees and the Toronto Blue Jays. Major League Baseball on the show is next. Chase Anderson, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. Dan Plezak, what do you got? One of the things that jumps out, if you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into this start. One of the things he's going to have to do a much better job, keep traffic off the bases, keep the walks down, try to limit the amount of hits. He's had a rough goal that so far this year. Let's see if he can turn it around in this one. Here's Miguel Andujar now, and we are set for baseball here this evening. First of three here on a Friday night as the first pitch is in there for strike one. Well, guys, as the Jays take the field here tonight, they've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Yeah, Matty, this team is starting to really come together. They won last night. They're playing really nice. I expect much more of the same today. Swing, and there it goes. Deep to left. No chance at bringing this one back. And gone up into the second deck. So it's a solo home run here leading off the ball game. Number 10 for him on the year as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. I love the way this lineup's constructed right out of the gate. They smack you right in the mouth with one of the better power hitters in their lineup and he takes him deep right there to set the tone. Here's big Aaron Judge, and he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Anderson has logged upwards of 900 innings on the mound so far and in that time he's compiled a whip under 1.3 translation he's better than league average in that category bases are empty here nobody out on a great pitch there caught him reaching it's one and one so let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one behind the plate is Gary Simmons. Dero, this Gary Simmons, he's the kind of umpire that pitchers really like to throw to. Yeah, I'm okay with it, though, Dan. You want to go east-west, I'll make the adjustment. It's the north-south that'll kill you. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Anderson is at least partially known for a good changeup, and it's not just any change of speed pitch. It dances all over the place. Now this ball's hit deep to left field. Looking up is Hernandez. Gone! What a start. Back-to-back -back homers from the first two batters of the game. A solo home run there for Aaron Judge. Number 28 on the season. And this is now a 2-0 lead for the Yankees. Just a couple of minutes ago, the home crowd was pumped for the beginning of this game. But when you hit back-to-back -back homers to start the game, they have a tendency to sit on their hands. Can't start a game any better than that, folks. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. 261 the average coming into action here 25 homers and 63 runs batted in just got the corner that time with a fastball strike two base is empty here with nobody out Now a foul tip straight into the catcher's glove and he's able to hang on to record the first out of the inning. Ready now the Gary catcher. Sanchez Gary. and you see what he's done in recent action obviously seeing the ball well right now. Infield in the overshift here now the pitch. 
Circle change is cut on and missed 0-1. Ooh, that's a good pitch to take a hack at right there. Change up up of the zone. Eh, he'd like to have that one back. The wind up and the 0-1. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. At the plate, Mike Talkman. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. Comes in with an average of 265, seven homers, and an even 20 RBIs. And that misses low and inside. Two balls and no strikes. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3-0. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Hey. Had the red light there, and it's 3-1. and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Hey. Where you, dude? And it's fouled away. Two out, nobody on. Line. That's a base hit in the left field. Hey, after that hit right there, Dero, that extends that's his good. hitting streak to six games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Six Yo. days in a row with knocks Urshela. will help you sleep better at night, Dan. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. First at bat for him as he enters play third in the American League batting race. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year hit in the air down the right field line but this is going to wind up a foul ball you're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle cannot be laid on that fastball this is line to left Hernandez is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side so two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. It's the Yankees, too, and the Blue Jays coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Masahiro Tanaka, the right-hander from Japan, will get the starting assignment in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, one of the things this guy does really well, neutralize the left-handed hitters on the season lefties are hitting under 250 against this guy so whatever he's doing against lefties it certainly works now at the plate Rowdy Tellens he'll lead things the off here in the bottom half of the first here it comes right side and right into the shift and he'll step on first himself for the out batting second the designated hitter. So, this yes. Coming forward now, the Toronto designated hitter, Bo Bichette. He's currently ninth in the American League batting race entering play. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. Here's the first pitch to him. Whoa, and a ball, 1-0. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they've got to be considered the hottest team in baseball right now as they come in winners of nine of their last ten ball games. Yeah, Matty, I can't tell you how important it is 
to throw that first run up on the board. And that's exactly what they did. A little crooked number, a two spot to give their pitcher a chance to relax and go out and pound the strike zone. This team has been playing red hot baseball recently. Grounded to first. Gloved by LeMahieu. And he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the first. Batting third. The third baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. So bases are empty here with two gone. And Vladimir Guerrero Jr. settles in at the plate. Tanaka into his motion. First pitch on the way. Outside, that's the ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two and oh. Too old to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Hey. And he gets this fastball over. It's two and one. There's a well hit ball out to right center field. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. He got the pitch he wanted and he didn't miss it right there. Hammer job. Mortis. Goody hell. Into the box, Mortis Guriel. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Guerrero at second with two down. Ball one. Awfully close with the slider there, but it's 1-1. One one. Tough spot to hit here as a hitter. You have a base open, so you have to almost be trying to think like the pitcher. Is he going to try to pitch around me, or is he going to come in the strike zone? Fastball just missed above the zone. The 2 1 home. Grounded to short. Torres picks it up. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two out double. We're back to Friday night baseball on the show after this. Second inning set to go, and that'll bring up Glaber Torres. The shortstop, Glaber Torres. First offering on its way. Right side, fielded cleanly, and he'll take this to the bag himself. And the leadoff man set down to start the second. The first baseman, PJ. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up DJ LeMahieu. Here's the pitch. Nope. Didn't miss Ball by one. much there, but it's just a bit high. Ball one, no bases play. are empty, one man out. Fly ball heading for the alley. McKinney on the move, but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. And he'll reach second now with one away. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year, but you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. The average coming in 257, two home runs and 17 RBIs. From the belt, the pitch ball. takes a pitch high and away for ball yep. one. Oh. 
And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. The 2 1 pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field, and that's going to fall for a base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. That's a big at bat from the bottom of the order. Yeah, Matty, right there. Worked himself into a nice situation. Got on, on base right there. Now first and third. Rolls the lineup over. Top of the order is licking its chops. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar as he looks at a fastball on the inside corner for strike one. Andujar is really a well-balanced hitter. It doesn't seem to matter whether he's facing a right-hander or a lefty. He makes a lot of loud contact either way, which is quite rare in today's game. Yeah, you can tell this guy really pays attention, puts time in the cage, studies the video, seems to always have a game plan, and is not off balance too much. Now a move over to first, and the runner back in standing. Now the one and one pitch. Two one. Well, giving up hits is one thing, but judging by that last pitch, he doesn't have any consistency with his release point right now. He doesn't know where it's going, and he knows it. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two to second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Your basic 6-4-3 will get him out of danger. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Stepping in for the Jays to Oscar Hernandez. And he's looking to turn things around. Ice cold at the plate in recent action. Hernandez. First pitch of the at bat. Hit hard, but foul. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Ballman two strikes. Now it's one and two. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels that off base, good. and that's just what the they right did field. right there. Big strikeout, right keep that guy off the base path. That's good. Here's Randall Gritchick. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. And he fouls this one off. Now the one and one pitch. We got two balls. Big okay. sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. One out, nobody on. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. A full count, three and two to Randall Gritchick. And he lost him here on three two as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Batting seven, the catcher, number ten. 
Next to bat for Toronto, Reese McGuire. From the stretch. High in the air down the right field line. And that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Boy, there's a long drive bullet off the wall right there. But the outfielder does a really good job, b -roll, of getting that one quickly and getting it back in to keep him at first for a long single. Yeah, and also a nice job by the base runner not there. Not putting his head down, being over aggressive and getting thrown out at second base. He saw the play happening in front of him and put the brakes on and got back for a base hit. Yeah, d -roll, I think he would have been toast if he tried to stretch that one into a double. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. The 2-1. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Torres at the bag. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. One left for Toronto. They're down two to nothing. Top of the third set to get underway, and that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. Number 99, Aaron Judge. First pitch on its way. In there, 0 and 1. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count, 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. 0-1. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2-2. Two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Aaron Judge is retired to kick off the inning. Giancarlo Stanton now. First pitch coming. Here it is. Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at-bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. Bases are empty, one man out. That evens it up, one and one. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's three one in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. Hitters count all the way, here it comes. No offer from Stanton. It's ball four, so he'll head down to first. Now batting, catcher Gary. Sanchez. Coming to the plate now, Gary Sanchez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Here's a breaking ball outside, and now it's even one and one.
Runner at first here, one man out. One and two to the Yankees catcher. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. Really good pitch right there. So you're moving the ball all around the strike zone. And then what do you do? You come in. That's a hard pitch for any hitter to do anything with. Just really makes it difficult to get that bat head out. In now, Mike Talkman, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. A base hit in his first trip. The 1 0 home. Two ball, no strike. A runner on first with two away. Two and one after the foul ball there. Has a look, now the pitch. He's fallen behind now, three and one. You know, I kind of see why his ERA is so high coming into this one. He's just putting these guys in too many good hitters counts. That'll catch up with you real quick. Lifted the other way to left center. Waiting on it is Hernandez. And the inning is over. One left for the Yankees. But they're on top two to nothing. Welcome back. As the Blue Jays look to get their bats going in the third inning. And you can say they've been trying to do that pretty much all year. At the start of the day, they find themselves as one of the worst teams in the league in hitting the long ball and scoring runs. I talked to one player before the game that told me he thinks things have sort of snowballed on them this year. They didn't get off to a good start, and since then, most everyone has simply been searching for answers and trying to do too much. He admitted it's been a frustrating year, but they have to keep pushing Leading forward and for looking Toronto. for better ways to generate Back offense. Basement. Back to you guys. Gavin. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Slider finds the zone for a strike. In past meetings with Tanaka, just three for 14. He's also been a strikeout victim six times. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late, and you can't even put a good swing on it. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Still no balls and two strikes. Here's another 0-2. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. So one away in the Toronto third. And that'll bring up Rowdy Tellez. Here's the first pitch to him. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Fouled off. One out, nobody on. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. A bouncer to the left side. 
Andahar brings it in. Throw on to first will get him. Scored at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, the there are two away now. The designated hitter. Oh. Yes. Into the box, Bo Bichette. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Tanaka's ready. Here comes the first pitch. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. Two out, nobody on. Hard on the ground towards short. Torres scoops it up. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half. On now to the top of inning number four. The Yankees are out in front, two to nothing. Back now here at Rogers Center, and here's Heidi. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. All right, Heidi, thank you. New inning set to get underway. And striding forward, the designated hitter, Gio Urshela. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he lays off there 1 0. Urshela, a Colombian born ball player. He's a five year vet at the major league level. Swing and a liner, but foul. The 1-1 one, one. is looked at for ball number two. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands at number four. Now batter, the shortstop, Glaber. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Now the 0 1. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 2 now. Two runs, five hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. In the dirt here. Good job there as the count goes to one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Still a ball and two strikes. Change of speed there, but it's taken for a ball two and two. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. You can certainly tell at bats like this one frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Oh, and he leaves another one over the plate, and this ball's driven to left. And for the third time tonight, he has served up a home run. It's a two run shot to straight away left number 18 for him on the campaign as the Yankees start to pull away a bit. It's now four to nothing. We've seen these guys go deep three times so far in this one guys. D row some days the fellows walk in with their hitting shoes on and this looks like one of those games. Yeah there's a saying going around the dugout right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. 
everybody wants a chance to get into that batter's box. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMay here. Popped him up. Tellez is there. Makes the play, one away. The batter number 14. All right, so time now for the Blue Jays' road to the show report as we see a couple of prospects performing at high levels in the upper minors. Standing in now, Tyler Wade. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. One for one after a single this first time up. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And some action now in the Toronto bullpen as a right hander starts to get loose. Four runs, six hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Right on the corner, two and two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Now back, third baseman, Miguel and Duhar. So coming to the plate, Miguel Andujar. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. First pitch of the at bat. Count one and oh. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. This offense is absolutely feasting on these count leverage situations. If he's going to have any chance of feeling good about his effort tonight, this pitcher has got to get back in the strike zone. Three and oh now. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. A pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. And a fastball called strike three and the side is retired. Yankees get a couple on the two-run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now a 4-0 New York lead. Digging in for his second at bat, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. One ball, no strikes to count. Here it comes, 1-0. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's one and one. And now a pitch on the way. And they'll turn to the slider here, and it just misses. Two and one now. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. The 2 1 is taken, ball three. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. 
And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. So now it'll be the four-hole yeah. hitter, Lourdes Gurriel. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. The 1 0. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Nobody out, runner on first. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Gets a small piece near the plate. That goes foul. Two strikes on him now. Hit hard on the ground towards second. A bare hand for one. On to first, and it's a double play. The second they've hit into in these first four innings. And there are two away now. Nice job on the mound to bounce back from the leadoff walk. Those are usually pretty costly, but that won't be the case this time after the two ball. So base is empty now after the double play. And next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Teoscar Hernandez. And a fastball's in there for strike one. And they go away here. It's a cold strike. Nothing in two. Down 0-2. Maybe simplify the game plan right here. Get on the heater, even though he has five weapons to go to. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays. They're on the short end of a 4 0 score. Digging in now for the Yankees, Aaron Judge. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Aaron. First pitch on its way. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. Well, he's still out there to start the fifth inning, but it's been a real grind of a start for him. The pitch count is much higher than he'd like it to be, so it's hard to imagine him working really deep into this game. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. And this is swung on and missed. And the American League's leading hitter is gone on strikes. One away. I'll tell you, he's showing no signs of tiring now right that. now. Still looks razor sharp from what I can tell. So I think he might last a while longer if he can keep this up. Into the box now, Giancarlo Stanton. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0 and 1. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now the pitch. And it's 1 and 1. If you're going to have success against some of the better hitters in the game, you've got to get that pitch right there. 0 2, he's almost certainly out. 1-1, one, one, he's got a chance to really do some damage. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit in the air to straightaway center. After it is McKinney. 
He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now batting the catcher Gary Sanchez. So stepping in Gary Sanchez. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And the pitch. Hey. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. Into the corner and slicing foul. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three, but they hold a four to nothing lead. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Blue Jays to discuss his thoughts on his team's lineup so far. And he said they just aren't putting enough competitive at-bats together right now. He told me he can't recall many times where they've been able to get to a full count today. And while that's not always a necessity for success, they've clearly had their struggles today, especially when it comes to making things difficult on the opposing pitching. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Randall Grichik at the plate now. He leads off in the Fourth bottom of the fifth as they look to break right through here. on the scoreboard for the Brand first goal. time in this one. Yeah, baseball right is a there. game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. The pitch. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. That, ball. that misses 2-0. and oh. They obviously circled him before the game that they were not going to let him beat them. Walked him this first time up and now they're nibbling again. And he'll just watch the splitter here 2-1. and one. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Now that so still nothing Number against 10. him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And you can see that this staff currently leads the AL in that category. Ready for another chance. Reese McGuire. He singled his last time up. First pitch of the at bat. Aye. McGuire a 25 year old. He's in his third season as a major league player. Off the plate one ball one strike. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Two and two. He hasn't thrown that pitch much all game. I got to believe, as an offense, you just got to throw that pitch away and move on to the next one. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. I'll tell you right now, this guy has a shutout going, and it's been all the business. He's not Number messing around, eight. trying to pick at corners. He's being aggressive in the zone, and he's attacking each and every one of these hitters up to this point. That'll bring up Billy McKinney. As he'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Tanaka into his motion. Here's the 1 0. Oh, that's it, out. Too tight with that one. 3 and 0. Oh. 
Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. Swinging on 3-0, and now three balls and a strike. The 3-1. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. They trail here four to nothing. Tanner Roark takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 14, Tanner. Stepping up to the plate, Mike Talkman. He'll try and get things started as we begin the inning number six. The better fielder. He's ready. Mike Here's the first offering. Nope. The 1 0 home is laid off two for ball two. I'm seeing him just a little too amped up out there right now. That's common with hard throwers like him. Running a blazing fastball up there is great, but if you can't harness it, what good does it do you? Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and oh. Gio Urshela will be next. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Shows some great patience and discipline, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. Coming to the plate now, Gio Urshela. He's set and the pitch. And there he goes towards second. Offered and missed. Here's the throw. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. And boy, this at bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0 2 now. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in. Jam sandwich. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And an unproductive at bat that time as the runner holds at second with one away now. Now batter, the shortstop, Labor. Torres will Torres. stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. Pitch coming, here it is. Here's the 0 1. One ball, one he went deep earlier, so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send to get him off the plate. At the very least, they're clearly trying to get him from getting his arms extended again. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. One out and a runner on second base. Fouled away. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Two away now in the Yankees' sixth, and that'll bring in D.J. LeMayhew. He 
be set. Here it comes. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. one pitch you can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitchers off speed stuff maybe expect a fastball on this next one one and two to DJ LeMayhew stone cold take right there that fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Good job to lay off that one-two breaking ball. Put himself right back in this at-bat. The two-two. Hit sharply on the ground. And that is through into center field. A base hit. Now a long throw home. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Hey, there's a good job of battling right there, d -Row. Pitcher had the advantage with two outs, two strikes. You're one pitch away, and boy, what a terrific piece of hitting right there. Yeah, that's a great job right there. Some guys are not afraid to hit with two strikes. They'll take that pitcher deep in the count, feeling comfortable about it. That's the type of hitter this guy is, and he was able to come through. At the plate now, Tyler Wade. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. A hit in two tries for him so far. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Low with a fastball here in the dirt, even. It's ball one. And this one's in the dirt. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. As a look, now the pitch. Rolled slowly to first. Reined in. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. A run, a hit, and a man left. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. The Yankees lead this one 5 to nothing. Now in the box, Kevin Biggio. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving That's into cool. the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And it's one and two. Now, one and two. To right, two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Is swung on and missed. He got him. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there, and it just seems like we've seen so many off balance swings and weakly hit balls in this one. Rowdy Tellez, the next to bat. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Ball. And he lays off for ball one. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game. And I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. One out, nobody on. Ah. 
And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Not likely to see a fourth fastball in this situation. I'm going to eliminate the fastball if I'm at the plate right here. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Now back, the designated hitter. Oh. Yes. Now batting, Bo Bichette. He was a ground out victim last time up. On its way is pitch number 75. Oh. Count one and oh. On a line, that's a base hit. And they keep now the back. inning alive with a base hit, but you can hit. see that's only the third hit. He's given up the entire game, so he's still in total control out there. Now at the plate, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch on its way. Popped him up. LeMahieu over to his left. And that's the third out. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Seventh inning coming up. The Yankees lead it 5 to nothing. Seventh inning ready to roll. And striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. Miguel Andujar. Now here it comes. Way late on the fastball for strike one. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. There's strike two as the hanging slider was let go. And now the Blue Jays get a left-hander up and throwing in their bullpen. He's ready. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Now a flare out toward right center. Biggio onto the grass. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Boy, he oh, showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Plate. Aaron Judge. He went down on strikes last time up. First pitch coming. Here it is. Your idea of working the count goes out the window. You're frustrated right now. Down 0-2. Got to find a way to grind. Nothing in two count. And the pitch. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. This is the kind of the bat where your hitting coach grabs you on the way back to the dugout to have a little chat about your approach. Not a lot of positives to draw from that at bat when you take two strikes and then you chase one out of the zone to go down on only three pitches. So now to the plate, Giancarlo Stanton. As he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. No hits to this point. The wind up and the 0 1. Missed low and inside with it, 1 and 1. Two out, nobody on. A ball and two strikes now.
Protecting with two strikes one out of the zone that time but he stays alive. And another foul ball. Again a one two. Here's a fastball in on the fist and that'll even things up at two and two. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something over. This one sinks low on a touch outside. It's a full count three and two. Hey this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. Two two count and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. Hit in the air out to center field. McKinney is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. One two three go the Bombers. But they hold a five nothing lead. And now the Toronto number four hitter Lourdes Gurriel. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. One ball no strikes the count. There's a belt high strike to even the count at one and one. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. His slider's been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. That was a good job tying him up inside on that strikeout pitch. It now wasn't back. even in the strike zone, but with Stay the hitter off. protecting with two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. As Tanaka jumps ahead of him here at strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And he misses with it one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Now you could just see this guy out on the mound right here just the body language he knows he's on top of his game executing a nasty slider down the way right there giving this offense no chance. Well off the inside that time as the sinker misses for a ball. Interesting sequence of pitches right there a real ugly swing on a ball away and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. Seared down the first baseline, but that finds its way through for a base hit. He's through first and hustling for second. And he is in at second base with a one out double. Here's the fourth hit of the game, and it's a good one. Puts a good swing on this thing, and it goes for a double. We'll see if they can build on it here. Digging in once again, Rendell Gritchick and his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. Here comes the first pitch. Hey. We're moving right along into this one. This guy's continuing to pitch well, which is a little bit of a surprise because his first pitch strike ratio is still under 60%. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. The 0-2 home. 
And did he hold up in time? A look down, and no, he went around at strike three. Now that Ready once Double again, back. Reese McGuire, one for two. He singled and struck out in two trips. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Ball one, no strike. Lays off one and zero. Oh. Ball two. Mm, two and zero. Oh. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. Tanaka pauses. Here's the 2 0. Two out here and a runner at second. And he lays off again, ball three. Time to wake up the offense right here. 3 1 count, all in on something over the heart of the plate. Swing and a hard hit ball down the line in right. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. The throw into second. But he'll get in there with an RBI double. He was on cruise control the entire game, but he gets brought back to reality here. An RBI double gets them on the board. And now that they've broken the dam, we'll see if they can generate some more runs going forward. To the plate now, Billy McKinney, as he'll take a look at ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. I needed to lay off that pitch upstairs, but it's one and one. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. Count is one and two now. Oh. That misses and we're even at two and two. Boy, that was an awfully close pitch right there. I know if I'm on the mound, I want that pitch called the strike. That's one of those that could go either way. Three oh, balls yeah. and two strikes to the Blue Jays center fielder. Next pitch will be number 100 for him now through six and two thirds. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. The batter, number eight, second baseman, Kevin. Ready for another Biggio. shot now. Kevin Biggio. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Hit hard on the ground towards second. He's got it. Quick throw to Torres to retire the side. A run for the Jays thanks to the RBI double. Seven complete here tonight. It's now a 5 1 ball game. Ready to begin the eighth, and now it'll be the catcher, Gary Sanchez. Gary Sanchez. First pitch coming, here it is. Ball back outside. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball 1 and 1. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. He's fallen behind now, three and one. 
And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. And it's fouled away. The 3 2 one more time is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. And a look there at the starter comparison oh, telling okay. the story of the ball game. That's one guy still going and pitching right. well, the other one oh. long since departed for the showers. Standing in, Mike Talkman, a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Nope, that's down. Now the 1 0. Misses, ball two. 2 0. 5 1 our score as we play the eighth. Outside, 3 0 now. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. The 3 1. And he fouls this one off. Fouled off. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Another one sent foul. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Looked to me like he had the right idea with the swing on that pitch, and he just didn't get the bat through the zone in time. The pitch was away. He let it get deep, maybe trying to take it the other way, but it got too deep and was by him by the time his barrel could get in the correct position. In now, Gio Urshela, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Broken bat as this ball is hit on the ground. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They lead this one, though, five to one. Wait, Tommy Kingley is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom now half of the eighth. Number 48. Tommy Kingley. Bottom of the inning now, and here comes the first baseman, Rowdy Tellis. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. First offering on its way. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. And it looks like the Yankees will have a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. The one two. Two ball, two strikes. Three 
Bo Bichette is on deck. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eighth. Now back, the designated hitter. Digging in and looking for more, Bo Bichette. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. From the belt, kicks and deals. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in the zone to induce a ground ball double play. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. A runner at first with no outs here. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Canely has over 40 innings on his line so far. And in that time, he's allowed just barely over a base runner per inning, which of course is very good. Now the two one is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. Got to find a way to get back in his zone. I know you're in danger of losing both to walks. But certainly don't miss over the heart of the plate and have this guy gap one or even worse hit a two run homer. The three one is swung on and missed and that's a full count now three balls and two strikes. Everything this guy throws is hard. That changeup he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater. Hit back up the middle. Torres at the bag. On to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game, as there are quickly two away now. Final line there for the Yankees starting pitcher. He was great all night long. Matty V, really a solid performance. Seven strong innings pitched in line for the win. Needs some help for the bullpen to close this one out. Into the box, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And there's a swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Hard hit ball to second. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Down in order go the Blue Jays. They're down five to one. You're Sam Gavilio enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Gavilio. Riding into the box, Torres. He's working on a one for three thus far. First offering on its way. A ball and a strike. One and one. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. We got a full count. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four, and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Now batting, the first baseman, 
And that sends DJ LeMayhew into the box. So far, two for three in this one. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And he lays off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't have. 0 and 1. Yeah, he made up his mind early to take the first pitch because that thing was right down the middle. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Gavilio stands 6 2 and throws from the right side. He was a fifth round pick back in 2011. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy, drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Has a look, now the pitch. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Nobody out, runner on first. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. Gone! It's a two run shot to straight away left. Seven home runs for him on the year now, as it's now a six run ball game. Into the box now, the Tyler Wade. Four. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. The 1 0 home. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. From the windup, the 2 0 pitch. That's now a changeup, but it misses just a little below the zone. No outs, nobody on. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. What's the saying? Now, when you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Miguel Andujar. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get oh, on something yeah. and drive it out of the yard this A.B. One and oh, the count. From the belt, the pitch. Now he gets the ground ball to first. This might be two. On to first to complete the double play. That's one of the hardest double plays to turn right there because of the difficult throw the first baseman has to make. No problem this time, though, and they get the two outs they were looking for. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Aaron Judge. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. First pitch coming, here it is. Well thrown sinker that time down, but in the strike zone. Two out, nobody on. 
swing and a miss on the slider and he's quickly behind nothing and two. Hey that's a huge double play to settle everybody down right now. Giving up a few early runs. Let's see if he can get out of this inning and regroup. Protecting on 0 and 2 so we'll do it again. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. Coming in is Hernandez but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. The tag and they'll get him at second and with that the side is retired. The Yankees get a couple on the two run home run. Last chance coming up for the Blue Jays. It's the Yankees seven and the Blue Jays one. Ben Heller, a right-handed reliever standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Ben Heller. Standing in now, Lourdes Gurriel. As he can't catch up on a fastball at the letters, and it's strike one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Popped him up. LeMahieu has a play. One away. Now batting. The left fielder. Chaos girl. Hernandez. So digging in now to Oscar Hernandez. First offering on its way. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right hander starts to loosen up. The wind up and the 0 1. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0 and 2, now right? You have to right protect field. for the fastball. Brando. You have to look for the soft stuff down right and away. Here. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0 and 2. Stepping in now, Rendell Gritchick. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 1 0. Is a fastball taken high for a ball. Got himself a 2 0 fastball there, but he couldn't connect 2 and 1. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. Three and one to him now. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Final strike for the Blue Jays. This is foul right side. Heller has tossed over 30 innings so far this season. And through those innings, he's worked to a whip under 1.20. League average is around 1.3, so that's a respectable number. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And that misses for ball four. That is just a great at bat there. When you're down late, you need base runners any way you can get them. And that never say die mentality could be the difference. We'll see how it plays out. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Reese McGuire. And we'll see if they can make him pay for the two out walk. Always considered a big no no, of course. First pitch on its way. 
in there. No balls and a strike. Two out with the man at first. Line to the right side. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The center fielder, number 28. Hey, this guy's obviously Billy. seeing the ball right now. That's another hard hit Eddie. single. Three for four right there. He's looking super solid at the plate. Digging in, Billy McKinney. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden, this thing feels doable. <laughs> From the stretch. 1 0. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. And they'll back him off a bit with a fastball in, but it's three and one now. Two on, two out with a base open here as a pitcher. You have to be awful careful. You just don't want to groove something here and give this guy a pitch that he can hit one out of the park on. Fouled away. Two men are on with two men out. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a no walk matter. is the Number result. Eight. Well, the good Second news is man. he has a force at every Half base. Man. The bad news? A single Vigio. probably drives in a couple of runs. Now at the plate, Kevin Biggio. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. First pitch of the at bat. Ball, that's out. The 1 0. Hit hard on the ground towards second. He's right there. Throw on to first, and the Yankees have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Well, this game had its moments, but it got out of hand pretty quick. Always nice when you could coast to a six run win. Save your closer for another day and let everyone in on the action. 7 1, the final score in tonight's. So the Bronx Bombers get the win on the heels of four home runs. Masahiro Tanaka earns his league best 14th win. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show.